Hello, viewer. Welcome to this production on the Avro Lancaster bomber used in World War II. father and myself taken in Montreal. Shows my father Ernie Pugh who was an electrical engineer. He installed radios in Lancaster bombers as they finished post-production in Toronto and were being flown to Newfoundland for shipment to England. If he didn't get them installed by the time they reached Newfoundland, he had to complete the job across the Atlantic. Photographs on the wall of Lancaster's model aircraft and even a jigsaw puzzle fostered my interest in the Lancaster aircraft. A few remain rotting in junkyards. I became interested in the bomber and read books about it. And I suddenly read a lot of fiction about World War II and the Air War. I ended up becoming a history teacher. received a lot of publicity in the media and it was fascinating how what they used like when to judge when to drop the bomb and the special construction of the bomb to bounce over the water to hit the German dam in the Ruhr Valley. The dam busters was even used as the basis for a Canadian beer carving Black Label beer ad.
screen lights spit fire and the bank has them. They have a complete Lancaster bomber inside and lots of information about this bomber. It's one of a few that remain in museums around the world. I'd seen one once before somewhere in the United States. A model of the Abro. Here's a photograph of the Lancaster in the Perth Aviation Museum. The museum is quite full of planes. It's very difficult to take a picture of the immensely large Lancaster. On the inside, the plane seems really small and very cluttered. complicated. I got my private pilot's license flying a Cessna 172 before I had a bad accident. I don't certainly once with anything like this. Bombardier Bay. And the rear gun turret. The bomb bay beneath the plane. And the bouncing Betty bomb used to blow up the dam. They were very large. The museum had an excellent display of artwork about the Lancaster. There seems to be a certain romance attached to this old plane. Quite functional as well as pretty. This large poster caught my eye and I was amazed at the complexity 
of the plane in the schematic. Now let's take a look at some real photographs, both in the present and in the past. A Canadian arrow flies over typical Canadian scenery. Another Canadian Lancaster. After the Second World War, these trains were put in service for many years. There is, of course, a lot of World War II footage of the bombing and the flak and the mayhem. A super bomb. Some of these bombs were used to sink battleships. The bomber at work.
the popularity of the Lancaster remains. It's amazing how many model makers wouldn't fly their own model Abro Lancasters and do a very good job of it. Look at these things. It's also possible to buy a Lancaster simulation game that is really remarkable in the excellent way that it duplicates the handling and controls of the old Lancaster aircraft. Take a look at this two minute demo of this Lancaster simulation program. Well, that is a very good replication of the Lancaster. It's almost like it's real. Thanks, dear viewer, for joining me on this short production on the Avro Lancaster aircraft. I hope you enjoy it and wish you a good day.